Hey everyone, Scott here. I just want to say congratulations because you're one step closer to having your very own successful Joomla website. I hope you don't mind, but I want to tell you a quick story and cover a few things before I show you exactly how to get your domain name and website hosting account for your website. Quite a few years back, I was in the exact position you are right now. I read so much about starting your website to make a living online and I kept telling myself, it's going to be too hard and I won't be able to do it. I was in university at the time and was graduating at the end of that year. I kept thinking to myself, do I really want to get into this career and have a fixed desk job for the rest of my life? I actually thought about that for some time. Then out of nowhere, a switch went off in my head and I thought, what if this actually works and I can make a living online with the freedom working online provides? I actually started working on my first website that night and most other nights after my days at uni. I am so glad that I did actually decide to take the leap of faith and start my online career then. Making a website is so much easier than you think. However, when you first start, it can look pretty complicated, which is why I have made all these free tutorials to open your eyes and make it easy. I understand that sometimes even the best video tutorials are not enough or you simply have extra questions. I'm actually going to give you direct access to me through email. This isn't going to be available for everyone though. I'm a busy man and I can only answer so many emails. So this bonus of being able to personally email me with any questions or get help with anything is only going to be available to people that sign up to HostGator through my affiliate link, which is basically any link on this page. You can see there's my affiliate link there. This image here is my affiliate link for HostGator website. To get my personal contact bonus and to have direct access to me, you need to sign up to HostGator using one of my links or my coupon code, which I offer, which is the website, te or website teacher. I'll show you exactly where to enter this code later in this video. And it actually also saves you money. Looking around the internet, I found courses and training information for Joomla costing up to $100 for content that's probably not even as good as what I offer for free. Because I believe you're like me, and if you are like me, you prefer to watch tutorials in video format that show you exactly how to do everything. That is why I have put so much effort into making all these tutorials for you that I want you to use once you have signed up to HostGator. The video tutorials are very easy to follow, understand, and will have you creating your website in no time. The reason why all my tutorials and information on this website are free and why I also offer to personally help you is not only because I'm a nice guy, which I am, it's also because I receive a commission on every single sign up I send HostGator. But don't worry because this has no effect on you whatsoever. Well, actually, I set up a coupon code so that you can save money when signing up. I'll show you where to use that coupon code later in this video. So to get your website, the first thing you have to do is click one of my affiliate links if you're watching this video on YouTube, my affiliate link will be in the description, but I'm just going to click this image link here, which says affiliate link HostGator website, which will be located under this video on my page once I upload it. So I'm just going to click that. Clicking my affiliate link should have loaded a HostGator's page that looks like this. You can see this is advertised as Joomla hosting. Technically, it is a normal website hosting, but they are emphasizing the ability to run Joomla on this hosting account, which is what we want. You can read through this page if you want, but the main parts we are concerned with are the plans you'll see down here. The hashing plan, baby plan, and business plan. Basically, you can ignore the business plan as it is more expensive and adds nothing of value you really need over the baby plan. So you'll want to choose either the hashling plan or the baby plan. The only difference between these two plans are the domains allowed. The hashling plan allows only a single domain name and the baby plan allows unlimited domains. With the hashling plan allowing only a single domain name, this means you can only host one website on this hosting account. So you can have your site.com only. Whereas with the baby plan, you're allowed unlimited, which allows you to host unlimited websites from this account. So you could buy another domain name later and start a new website with the same hosting account. Remember that with domain names, you only have to pay once per year. Whereas with the hosting, you pay per month. So you could buy five domain names and have five websites and only be paying the one hosting account. So that saves a bit of money. 
Apart from that, the plans have all the same features and offer everything you'll ever need from a website. They host Joomla perfectly. I recommend going with the baby plan. I know it's slightly more expensive per month, but even if you don't think you want to make more than one website, once you've actually made your first website and see how easy it is, you're likely to make more. Personally, I have about eight websites running right now. So just click order now on the plan you want. I'm going to select the baby plan and click order now here. So just click that. Now you need to enter the domain name you want to register for your website. You'll want to enter this in the box on the left here that says register a new domain name. So you want to enter it here. Unless you've already purchased a domain name elsewhere, which you can put in your existing domain name that you've already purchased here. But for most of you, you'll be registering a new domain name here. But before we go any further, here is where you want to enter my coupon code. This will actually give you a $9 something discount, which is much better than the default coupon code you see here. In this case, it's spring, but yours may be different. My coupon code actually gives you your first month's hosting free. So just enter the coupon code website teacher here. So that's W E B S I T E T E A C H E R. So website teacher. Okay. Back to entering your domain name. Now when entering your domain name, you don't need to enter www.org.com after the domain, as you can see it's here, and you can select between .com, .net and .org. Personally, I recommend sticking with the .com as they're the most reputable and that's sort of the one you want to get. So all you need to do is enter the actual name of the domain you want. So you just enter for like your site.com, you just enter your site. Make sure that you don't have any spaces as they're not allowed. And if you put in a space, it will actually won't work properly in the, you won't be able to register that domain. If you do want to put in a space, you can actually use a hyphen in place of where a space would usually be. So for example, say you wanted your site.com, you could put it in a hyphen here to have your dash, or sorry, your hyphen site, which basically represents a space, but you can't actually use space. So don't hit spacebar when entering your domain at all. And apart from the hyphen, no other special characters can be used. You can only use letters and numbers and the hyphen key, that's it. Okay, so basically for your domain name, you wanna enter something that is relevant to your website. Say you wanted to make a website on gardening, you could enter something like home, gardening, if I can spell properly. See how I didn't enter any spaces there between the home gardening and I didn't enter any, like I didn't enter the www.order.com. So, cause you don't need to, you just enter in the name you want. So now if say I wanted this one and I click continue to step two, I can almost guarantee this one will be taken because it's a pretty common one that people would want. And you can see it says here, the following errors need to be corrected before signing up, which is telling me the one I entered, so homegardening.com is not available to be registered, meaning that it's already taken. So now if I enter that again, let's say I put it, put in a hyphen now where the space would usually be. So this would actually work as another domain name. So if I click continue to step two again, you can see that this domain name of home-gardening.com is also not available to be registered. And most common or most nice short domain names that have two words like this, like home gardening, will usually be taken and you're gonna to have to play around with your words a bit to get one that is available. So let's try something else. I could try entering something like home-gardening-with-scott. So that pretty much says home gardening with me, so home gardening with scott.com. Now you can see this is actually still a pretty good domain name because it has home gardening, so it's got words relating to my website. And then the with Scott makes it so that it's pretty much definitely available. So if you can't find a domain that's available, just keep playing around with the words, add in hyphens where spaces can go and find something that you like. So once you do find something you like and it's available, click, once you click continue to step two, this will load the next step, which is the billing information page. And the first thing you need to do here is enter a username and a pin. The username will be what's used to log into cPanel. So I'm just gonna enter so I'm just going to enter a username and you can see that the requirements are here. It has, must be between 28 characters long, must start with a letter and may not contain any special characters. So I'm just going to enter Scott and then put in some numbers. It's got 23 is what I'm going to enter. So you can see that's all ticked, meaning that it's correct and that's going to work. Now the security pin, just enter in a pin. So just I'm just going to go with the four digit, but enter in something that's 
slightly more secure than that, like a pin that you remember. And it can only be numbers, so make sure you enter that. And both need both ticks here need to go green. Now here, you just want to enter in your details. So simply fill out your details, and then on the right here, you can select payment information. You can select between a credit card and PayPal. You'll see when you select PayPal, it tells you that you'll pay on the next page since you selected to use PayPal. Meaning when you click create account, it'll direct you to the PayPal payment page. Or you can just select credit card and put in your credit card details. So once you've filled in your details there, you want to come down to this last section here that says tells you to please review it, your details. Basically, it tells you that you've got support 24-7 whenever you need it, every single day of the year for free. You got instant account activation, so your account's instantly activated. And you've also got a money back guarantee, so you've got 45 days to claim all your money back. The main thing you want to worry about here is to confirm that your domain name here, the domain registration, is correct. Make sure it's the one you wanted. And you also want to make sure that the coupon code here says website teacher. See how mine says spring at the moment. And you can see it says $22.96 is what your total due is at the moment. I'm going to click back and enter in my coupon code. Because it obviously changed when it told me my, when it came up telling me my um, domain name was already taken, it reset the coupon code. So you'll need to re-enter that. So just website teacher and then continue again. So that was $22. It was going to cost to sign up using my coupon code. You'll see it's actually only $15 now. So you actually save on sign up. And you can see coupon credit is using the website teacher one. And it's giving you $9.95 off. And you'll see here that for your first month, hosting is $9.95. So you're getting your first month free. You're only paying for your domain name, which you only pay once a year anyway. So that's first month free hosting. Just make sure this is ticked in and as long as your domain name is correct and it says website teacher here, click create account and then I'm not going to create this because I've already got my accounts but as soon as you click create account, you'll receive an email with your account details pretty quickly. This would remind you that of your username you've entered and also give you a password that you can use to log into cPanel. Now also, it's important to note that your site that you've registered, so say so I've registered this now. This address here, homegardeningwithscott.com, may take up to 24 hours. They do say 24 to 48 hours, but usually takes no more than a few hours to actually what they call propagate through to the other DNS servers. So basically what it means is it'll take up to 48 hours, which is usually only about an hour or two, before it's actually linked to your website. So if you type this in now directly after buying it, it will actually just come up with a um, error, like the page won't exist. But within about an hour or two, it will be linked properly. And when you type it in, it's going to link to your website. They explain all this in the email they send you. And they also give you a direct link to your website hosting account. So you can still use it in the hour or two you're waiting for the um, domain name to link to your account properly. So basically, once you click create account, you have your website. And once you have your website, you can directly contact me at any time by using this link here, this direct access to me link. And I usually reply pretty quickly to the um, emails I receive. And because you've signed up with HostGator, since your new website hosting account uses cPanel, you'll be able to use all my tutorials about cPanel and you'll find those under creating and cPanel here. And you best start starting at your guide to cPanel. So if you click that, that'll load the introduction to cPanel and link you to relevant tutorials for cPanel. I recommend starting off by using the tutorials of setting up your own email accounts. So you can see here, this is like you at your site.com. So that's a unique email account for your website for you to use. I'm just going to go back now. And basically you can move straight on to installing Joomla as soon as you have your website. You can find the tutorials for Joomla on the left here and installing Joomla is just there. Once you've installed it, there's how to log into Joomla, managing new users if you want to have multiple people be able to work on your website making Joomla more search engine friendly and just all the other tutorials and then publishing content. So structuring your content, your pages and that, creating your pages, all the tutorials you need will be on the left there. And if you ever have any issues or questions with setting up your Joomla website, please do not hesitate to use the direct access to me link and I'll help you in any way I can.